Anzac Day is just around the corner. So today I'm sharing with you some Anzac books. I'm going to give you a little glimpse inside each of them and share some of my thoughts and feelings about them. Welcome back to the Homeschool Sweet Spot. I'm Kylie and I've been homeschooling my three kids since 2007. Here on the channel I provide you with encouragement, support, tips and hints for a fabulous homeschool experience. If you're interested in ways to help calm the chaos in your home then be sure that you hit that subscribe button because every week I share a brand new video to encourage you on your journey. So let's get into these Anzac books. So this time I have a little bit of a mix. I have some picture books and I also have some non-fiction books for children. The first one I have is the Anzac Billy. The Anzac Billy by Claire Saxby, Mark Jackson and Heather Potter. The Anzac Billy is a short yet tender story of the actual Anzac Billy. Australia and New Zealand soldiers were sent care packages inside tin billies during World War I. And I really like that this brings a real occurrence to life for young children. And as you can see, the illustrations are just lovely as well. And then moving on, we have Anzac Special Days. So whilst not a picture book, Anzac Special Days is an information-packed book with bite-sized pieces covering all manner of topics relating to Anzac Day. This one I think would be great to include in a unit study. It's short, but it still covers a great deal of information. And then moving on to the Anzac Violin. So this one's by Jennifer Beck and Robin Belton. This is a much longer picture book, but once I opened the pages, I couldn't stop reading it. I needed to find out what happened with this violin. The Anzac Violin is the true story of a rescued violin and a musician that touched many soldiers on the battlefields. This is one for older kids and it is really quite a moving story. And then this one, this one's going to be perfect for those kids who adore animals, Anzac Animals. So Anzac Animals brings to life the true stories of 20 animals that helped Anzacs in both World War I and World War II. And whilst this is not a young children's book, it will be great to pair with the others that I've already shared to create a well-rounded unit study. Do you have a favourite Anzac Day book that you read with your kids every single year? If you do, please let us know about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.